Right, this is a short demo of Raspberry Pi talking to Netduino. Um, I've got a TV screen in the background which is plugged into my Raspberry Pi board through an HDMI cable. Um, there's nothing else connected to the Raspberry Pi apart from the Wi-Fi adapter plugged in there and the Ethernet cable which is going to the Netduino board. Um, I'm going to power up the Raspberry Pi just by plugging it into a, um, a USB hub. That will start coming up. It takes a little while to start up. While that's starting, on the right hand side I've got a normal netbook um, running Firefox and that's just ready to load a web page being served out from the Pi. Just have a look at what's going on with the Pi. Um, this is just the normal starting up um, process that happens. Towards the end it will tell us the, the IP address that the Pi has been given. So here we've got the IP address, so there are two there. There's one for the, the link to the Netduino, and a second one which is on my home network. Um, it's sitting at the login prompt. We don't have to do anything at the moment. In the background there's a script running that waits 10 seconds and then launches this Python program. Um, and the Python program just repeats what the addresses are that it's using, and the port numbers. Um, so if I now turn on the Raspberry Pi, uh, excuse me, the Netduino, we should see some messages coming through. Here we go. So the Netduino has just reported through to the Raspberry Pi that the button is currently not being pressed. So over on the right, I've got the, um, the web browser. So if I fire that off, um, I've got a few pages which I've set up. These are being served from the Raspberry Pi using a simple web um, server. Um, so I'm going to run up this last one, and what I've got here are some symbols to say what's going on. You'll see on the, the screen um, there's more traffic going on, and what this is is the web page is running a PHP script which sends a TCP request to the Python, and then the Python is returning back what should be displayed on the screen. So if I zoom in so we can see this a little bit clearer. Um, so we've got a, a simple image which is out of focus for the um, the state of the button. Um, and also at the bottom we've got some um, icons for setting the LED. So on the Raspberry, sorry, on the uh, Netduino, if I press the button now, see the button icon changes and the text that's going through um, should be saying button on now. If I let go, it will go back to button off. And there was also some dialogue there where a message was sent from the Netduino to update the state. Um, then also I can click on the icons at the bottom here and a message was just sent through and the LED on the Netduino has changed. If I click on the other one again there go, and that goes off. Um, at the same time if I press the button, the button goes down and also the LED can be on at the same time and the button comes off. And the last thing to show is clicking on the other button here it will get all the Python to shut down and it actually triggers the Netduino to shut, sorry, the Raspberry Pi to shut down as well. And the message was also sent to the Netduino so this would also be a, a way of telling the Netduino to shut down. So in a moment the screen should go dead. That's gone. And here, I see the web server is now defunct. And that was the end.